We are inside Holly Anna Calligraphy Studio here in downtown Modesto, and we're getting a little lesson this morning on how to do such beautiful lettering. And you teach classes here. I do. And you're going to teach me this morning. Absolutely. Okay, so what is the first step? Okay, so these are the tools that you will get if you come to a class. I bring, you get a whole um, kit when you leave. So you can take it home and keep practicing. But th these are nibs, they're metal, um, and they're very flexible. So they actually come apart, and that's how you get those thick and thin oh. downstrokes. So the whole th part of calligraphy, the reason why it's so beautiful, it's your own hand lettering, yes. which makes it so personal. Definitely. And it also has those thick and thin lines. So, so when people come here, you, you bring these kits out, and yes. this is kind of what helps kind of yeah. show people how to properly do some yeah. letters. Okay, so for me, I'm a, I'm a newbie. Yeah. What would you recommend? How, how do we get started? Okay, so you're going to take your nib. I have a little pen holder and okay. a nib for you. Okay. And you're going to put it inside, and, and these are just flexible nibs. I do two things at once here. <laughs> <laughs> and this okay. is called a dip pen method. So we use oh. ink that's in a jar. Um, and you're going to just dip the whole pen straight into the jar. And you said tap the bottom of it, right? Yep, and then just slide the lip so to get all the excess off. Got it. So you're going to want to hold it at a 45 degree angle. Okay. And Good these beginning strokes is what we first go over. It's like basically going back to kindergarten. I know, I'm learning, <laughs> we're learning cursive all over again. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So the, the two strokes that we're going to be using are ascending, which is going straight up. Okay, so 45 degree yep, angle, 45 you said. 45 degree angle. Oh, so even more. And let that hold in the crease. Yep. Okay. And then very gently Ooh. glide up. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yep. Got it. Yeah. So there's barely any pressure that you need to put. If you're catching, that just means you need to, to let up a little bit on your pressure. Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. And then the downstroke is you're going to press, and and the tines are going to open, and the ink is going to flow out. So that that way you get That's kind of a thin, thin line there, and then thin a thicker thin. line there. I so love every it. time you go up, it's thin. Every time you come down, it's thick. Okay, fantastic. Are you going to show me a letter? <laughs> yeah, let's do a letter. <laughs> so same, it's the same. The great thing about modern calligraphy is it takes your handwriting and makes it look fancy, beautiful. Oh, okay, I like fancy. So I want you to just do a letter A how you would, but when you're coming across, you do thin, then you go thick, back up thin, back down thick. So pretty. And there you have an A. Okay, <laughs> you can do we'll it. try it. And then up thick. Yep. Up, up thin. Down up thin. thin. Yep, you did it. Woo! There you go. I mean, yours looks way fancier, <laughs> but we'll, we'll work on it. Well, I didn't learn in five seconds. <laughs> it took a long time. I got a quick tutorial this morning. Yeah. Okay, so you're teaching courses. Do you have any upcoming classes? Yeah, even January or February 27th, we have a class and there's four spots left. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and so will you be teaching the calligraphy that we're seeing on some of the invitations you've got going on yes, over there? Yes, absolutely. The beginner, we go over letters the whole time. Fantastic. Yeah. And what can people do with calligraphy? Oh, there's so many uses, and I'm sure that um, Instagram and, and Pinterest are oh, full gosh. of them. But wedding invitations, for sure. The DIY brides are my greatest clients. They come in and they're able to address their own invitations. Um, and do, give such a beautiful personal touch. When someone opens it, um, you just know it's going to be super special. Yes, and it's your handwriting on the invitation. Yeah, that is so cool. I wanted to show this over on the wall as well because you bring in a number of different artists here to the studio. And so one of the other classes they do is loom weaving. And so you can make something as beautiful like this to put up on the wall and give us gifts. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, it's beautiful. so interesting. It, it takes a long time.